Northwestern University is celebrating Black History Month and it's showcasing the works of different artists with fabric to highlight history. Roseanne is live with the latest on this incredible exhibit. I know you've been enjoying this, Roseanne. We certainly have. I have, especially when I saw Tim McGill out in the snow, and here I am in a warm gallery surrounded by quilts. In fact, we're at the Dittmar Gallery at Northwestern University, where we are looking at the art, the storytelling, and the function of these beautiful quilts on display at the Radiant Compositions 2 exhibit. And joining me this morning, I'm talking to one of the artists, one of the quilt artists and scholars, Professor Tracy Von Manley. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Thank you so much for coming out on this cold, snowy day. Yeah, <laughs> our pleasure. And you know, these are, as I talked, you know, mentioned a moment ago, they're art, pieces of art. They're fine art, but they're still practical. And in fact, this one is still used on top of the blankets at night, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. This is one that can be displayed in galleries, but this is also one that I sleep under in the spring <laughs> and summer. It's called Happy Hibiscus. And it's a lovely thing to come home to after a hard day's work and see that on your bed. So I your bet. bed can be another gallery. You know, it's also a great example of technique because you're telling me that this took years to yes. complete. Yes, it took about a little over two years to make. I do every Everything by hand and this is all applique work so applique is fabric on top of fabric on top of fabric and then all of this is embroidered and then the quilt work as well so multi-step process adds to the time right and let's talk about the fabrics because you uh, and you have some amazing fabrics that you use and textures. Talk about this quilt. This quilt is called Gentle Undulations and it's one of my favorites. It's uh, nothing but silk dupioni and silk velvet. And I use and try to find the most luxurious fabrics I can to show progress of black folk, to show resilience of black folk who had to kind of make do with, with whatever they could get their hands on. I try to reverse that narrative and say I use the best of right. the fabrics I can get Absolutely. my hands on. Mm -hmm. But we also have a give, give a nod to tradition with this traditional quilt over here. And yeah. this quilt artist is? This is a quilt made by Mrs. Betty Joy Bonds. She's uh, one of the sister quilters whose work is being exhibited uh, at, the, at the Didmar today. And this is a traditional quilt. This is called a log cabin pattern. And so she wanted to show that she can do traditional works as well as contemporary works. And right. I don't know, that's another one of hers as right. well. Yeah, and I love the idea that these little scraps of fabrics are, are you know, basically represent recycling at its very, yes. very best. Ooh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to us this Thank morning. You. This exhibit, if you want to catch it at Northwestern University, will be here through March 4th at the Dittmar Gallery. Back to you. Just hearing her explain uh, yeah. what each fabric means and each piece means, Roseanne, just giving me chills this morning. Tell her thank you. Yeah, that's for, awesome. For us. Mm -hmm. I will. Wow.